Hey guys, Corsair has got a new mouse here with all the fancy buzz terms and all the cool stuff and the braided cable and all the fancy fixings and features. But underneath all the uh, the cool things that are going to get the headlines, it's actually a really nice mouse. First off, the aesthetics. As you can see here, we've got like a rubberized coating on the top. This is a very thick, nice rubberized coating, one of the best I've felt. And if you just, you know, sort of graze your finger across the logo there on the bottom, you're going to feel that it is, I mean, you can feel the, I guess, the thickness of the coating there from the indentation of the uh, logo. So we got two buttons over here on the side and they uh, both have a little bit of um, texture on top so you can feel them. Scroll wheel is extremely uh, satisfying. And everything about this mouse has a you know, really satisfying feel to it. The depression of that is not depressing at all. It's very happy and nice. And then you got your left and right click and these are 50 million click Omrons. Below that we have DPI slash CPI button with five stages that you can choose from here and you can you can uh, adjust all that in the software. Uh, above and beyond that we have three different zones for uh, your RGB LED. We got the little stripe right here. It's kind of a strange glossy stripe with an LED in the middle to make it shine. But so that's the one glossy part on the entire thing that's kind of like, whoa, my eye is drawn to the shiny thing. Then you get the logo on the back that can be adjusted. Uh, the middle point here on the other side, a little light there. And then on the front we've got headlights, man. So you can see where you're going while you're playing your games. It also has a little little glow ambiance to your desk when you're in a dark room. You can adjust all three of those separately. I'll show you the software on that in just a second. We have a, um, a sensor they've used a couple of times, sort of a custom sensor. I think they paid some money to get their own version of the 3360 sensor and up the CPI to an absurd number. But it's a 6,000 DPI slash CPI sensor known as the uh, PWM3367. It's an infrared, and you guys at home probably call that optical, but lasers also optical, so I'm gonna call it infrared. It's an infrared sensor. It's about damn near flawless. It's really, really smooth. You don't need 16,000, nobody needs it. I mean, what do you got, like a, a 10K, 12K monitor? Then maybe you need it to move around on that monitor, but for most gaming purposes, it's absolutely absurd. It seems to be more of a, um, a marketing term, but at the uh, lower CPI rates, it performs very well. Um, I had a a lot of fun playing games with this thing. On the bottom, let's take a look at that real quick. We have some large polytetrafluoroethylene feet here. Nice for gliding. And then there's a texture here. I'm not sure why there's a texture there on the bottom other than aesthetics. And then you got your braided cable coming right out of the top here. Uh, dimensions 125.8 by 91.5 by 44.6, that's millimeters. And in inches 4.95 by 3.6 by 1.75, 122 grams or 0.27 pounds. It's a heavy mouse. And the extra weight from the braided cable can create a little bit of drag on your desk. I wish they'd gone with a rubberized rubber cable, but marketing and people online who think this is fancier really demand the braided cables. And for a lot of you guys, it's just fine. I just find they snag and create a little bit of drag on my desk, but it performed just fine. Oh, by the way, this is a 1.8 meters and they do include this little Velcro thing. So if you're traveling somewhere, you can roll it up and then, you know, crimp it down with that. The main feature of this mouse is that it is one mouse for all in the sense that it has several different options for the side here. I actually kind of like the smooth option right here. It's just a very smooth to the top touch rubberized thing, but it's magnetized so I can pull this off. And if I want a little bit more grip, I've got this really grippy one right here with a thumb rest. This one has an extreme rubber bumpy texture on it. And the bumps are so pronounced that the entire time I'm playing my game, I can feel the bumps and I'm thinking like, oh, there's bumps right there. It's really good for gripping. If you're someone who wants to know that there's some grip there and there's some there's some bumps there well yeah it, you're really gonna feel it if you're someone who's a bit obsessive like me your thumb is not gonna be resting on something perfectly smooth i like that one for the you know the way it feels but i end up using um one of the other ones most of the time this one is just similar to the first one but a little bit more pronounced and with a nice uh, rubber texture similar to the other side. So a less pronounced rubber texture without the thumb rest. But you guys can pick the one that you like the best. All right, now let's uh, let's check out the software really quick. Let's take a super quick look at the Q, which is the custom utility engine software. I'm not huge on software, so I'll be fast. You can add actions, which are basically macros, or you can set it up to you know open up profiles and that sort of thing, uh, or open up programs, whatever. And you can store a few of these to the actual mouse. So when you go from point A to point B, all your stuff is right here. You can control every single button, change it to wherever you want. Even the DPI button can be remapped. Moving down to lighting effects, where I think a lot of you guys will hang out. You can add several different lighting effects here and you can associate them with, uh, you know, whatever. There we go. Copy effects, paste effects. Uh, and then here's your different effects. Rainbow color shift, color pulse, static color, and lightning link. DPI, otherwise known as CPI. And uh, this setup is your default right here, but come over here and change it. 
by one at a time. The software is really responsive, so that's kind of nice. And there's even a sniper. So you can set up, you know, enhanced pointer precision and angle snapping if you're crazy. I don't know why this is even here because I can't imagine anyone who takes himself seriously uh, and calls himself a gamer using this ever. We also have surface calibration. It allows you to calibrate this, I guess, to best use with whatever surface you're using. We've got a cloth burning earth mouse mat, so we'll go ahead and test it out. So click and drag this icon. There we go. It's detecting what's happening right now. So that basically just, you know, measures the surface and then uh, adjust the mouse accordingly so you can use a hard or a soft surface. That's the software. When you're playing around the software, you can save some profiles to the actual mouse. There's some memory on here, so that way if you go to someone else's house, you've got your profile saved in here. All in all, it's a really accurate mouse that's made with a lot of different people in mind. My only gripe is that it's slightly heavy and I'm not too sure about the bumps on this one. It's, it feels really good. Uh, otherwise, the aesthetics are completely up to you. It's not as minimal and sleek as some, but it does have a compromise between like a gamer aesthetic and a professional awesome aesthetic. So somewhere in between professional awesome, is that even an aesthetic? Prof awesome. Pro awesome. I think I'm gonna go play some games and I'll be using this mouse for a little while to uh, keep testing it out. But so far, a really solid mouse from Corsair, the Glaive.